Hey everyone, this is me again on a person back at a brand new video, and today I have with me the first two figures that I've decided to review uh, in this Jazzwares Series 1, I want to call it. Um, these ultimate figures in the 6 inch scale. Uh, the first line that we saw, uh, here's an example, is this Connor. Um, they were not 6 inch, they were about an inch smaller, um, maybe 4.5. And, uh, yeah, there were a lot of differences between these and this ones. So we're going to get into that into this video. But, yeah, today um, I've decided to talk about Amanda Nunes and Conor McGregor. So both of these figures do come with a lot of accessories, which we're kind of used to already. We have seen before that they come with flags, they come with belts, interchangeable heads, hands. Um, they're being generous. So... We're gonna start with Connor here, and you are you are able to put this man into pretty nice poses. Um, you know, if you look at him like that, he does look really nice. Um, but if we look at the, if you if we take a look at his face, it's not really him. You don't really see Conor McGregor in the head. Uh, maybe at that angle, right, right there. Maybe that's him a little bit. Also, you know, the haircut that's obviously him. Um, but yeah, there's just some things that are off about this figure um but for the most part i do like it um it represents what it's supposed to be so in my opinion this is connor right after beating uh eddie alvarez when he became champ champ you know really it's a big part of his legacy right there um so yeah that's why he comes with both the featherweight and lightweight championships, which, but they can be whatever you want them to be. But, yeah, it's the old, the old belts. Um, this was the peak of Connor's career, I think, and I think that's why they went with this and not necessarily a more modern Connor, like maybe a, what he looks like now. Um, I'd say this one is, a, I guess, a more modern one because, first of all, the trunks... They are, I don't remember the, uh, I know these are Reebok, but their partnership ended, so then they started doing these. Um, I don't remember the the brand, but this is what UFC wears now. And I think uh, next year they're going to change to Venom, uh, the brand. I really like them, they make gloves and stuff, they make a lot of things. Um, but yeah, this is this is when he fought Nate Diaz, which was, you know, like a year or two later, but... It is, I guess, the most recent-looking Connor, because you know he wears the green now. Um, but yeah, so let's strain him out. He does look cool. But anyway, um, he is pale, but he the camera picks him up as like orange-ish. I would say not maybe like yellow. Um, but yeah, if we compare the tattoos between both of these figures, um, there's a lot of. You know, detail missing on this one because it's a lot smaller. Uh, th there's color differences. Uh, the tiger, <laughs> they look very different. Um, yeah. Let's see the forearm right there. Uh, you know, the, the placement is, is a little bit different. It's a little bit off on the smaller figure. Um, and something else is that they did add his ankle tattoo, which on this one they, they missed. It's not that he didn't have it. They just, uh, they missed it. Um, so yeah, Connor does come with both of these UFC belts. Um, I do like the detail on them. I like that, you know, they went all the way. I like the, uh, the texture that it has, you know, to represent where it straps on here. You know, the gold at the end, the plates. They're nice big plates if we compare these to the one that came with the little Connor. Let's see. Came with uh, this one. Yeah, of course, this one is more dull. A lot less detail, a lot smaller. But, you know, they're the same belt. And then if we compare them to the Jax ones right here, uh, there is a plate missing. They're not that, you know, it doesn't have the extra details that this one has that we can appreciate on the other one. Um... But yeah, I think uh, these were solid belts, I would say. Um, it's just really big plates. But in the end, I think these are obviously better. They just 
they are. Plus, they fit your Sing Sitch figures, so it doesn't matter who you give it to. You could give this to, like, a, a Brock Lesnar or Ronda Rousey if you have one, an Elite, you know, which is a different brand, a different line. Um, Connor also comes with interchangeable... Oh, no, he fell. Interchangeable hands. Um, right here, they just... They're for grabbing. And the extra head, which I hate. I think this is the worst part about this figure. Uh, they could have given him... Literally anything else, just anything else. I would have liked him for him to come with a with a hand like this. Um, where, where can I see? Okay, something like this. How they did with Francis Ngannou, something like this. And this head could have had like him just, shh, you know, so that he can do like the strut that he used to do, um, where he like he you know goes up to his 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 lips and he just says shh, and that's after he like knocked them out. Knock somebody out, but this head, I don't know what they were going with this. When does he make this face? I don't know. If anything, he screams, and, and this Connor came with a screaming head, so they, they got that right. But, uh, yeah, I don't know where they were going with this. It's it's a terrible head scan. Um, I'm not going to use this at all. Uh, but, yeah. Overall, I think it is a solid upgrade from the last one. Just the by adding the height... It just makes the figure a little bit better um, because of the tattoos and I think the overall articulation. Uh, but speaking of the overall articulation, I am disappointed that these had butterfly, butterfly joints and these don't. Um, I haven't tried wrestling, you know, maybe creating some poses like with ACBA or something uh, to maybe put somebody in a headlock. But it, I know it just it would be way easier with these guys because their their arms go in um, and go out like that. These don't. So I guess that's a downgrade. But I do like that he blends in better with the collection because he's taller. And I do think that head is a little bit better than this one after having this one for a little bit now. Um, but yeah. Okay, so if we move on to Amanda Nunez right here. Um, these people, they both uh, represent really, you know, they're really big names in the UFC. Um... I used to think that Ronda Rousey was Connor's counterpart, but I realized that it's been this woman all along. So I, that's why I put them both in the same video. So yeah, she does come with the Brazilian flag right there. Orden e Progresso. And she comes with extra hands to grab. And she does come with the uh, legacy belt and the normal older classic UFC belt. So if we take those off, we have the figure, and this is the first uh, female UFC figure that we have ever gotten, and it could not have been somebody else. They made the right choice. So yeah, if we look at her face, mine is a little bit, has things on it, unfortunate. Um, but yeah, you can definitely see her in there, her hair, all very accurate, her tattoos, right there, her arm. Very detailed, the other one. Yeah, and then, yeah, this is a, the more accurate style pants. Well, not accurate, the more updated. It's not Reebok, it's the nowadays one, I would say. The one that I, I forgot the the name for, the brand. Um, but yeah, she's wearing her, uh, what are these? Oh, okay. Right, so something I've realized is that whenever a fighter wears uh, board shorts, which are these, the short or the long ones, you can, they're, they're thicker, you can see the difference. But whenever somebody wears valetudo, which is the really tight ones, either uh, long or short, you, you can't really tell. They're kind of just painted on, not really molded. So there's a difference. So, you know, short board shorts, you know, double bend in the... In the knee, right there, and also double bend in the elbow, which is stiff, but it's great to bring her hands all the way up to her face, either side of her face, which is very necessary. Um, so yeah, we should go over articulation on her because she's different. We know Connor basically, but yeah, she, her head does sit on a ball joint, right there. Um, so yeah. Side to side, up and down, she rocks, uh, 360 at the arm, 
arm goes up and down. There's a swivel right there at the bicep, which doesn't really want to move right now. It's stiff on me. Hold on. There we go. There it is. There's the rotation. Again, double bend at the elbow, rotation at the wrist, and there is pivots. Um, she has, as well as the male figure, she has the upper body um, rock as well as a rock at the lower body. So it works as an ab crunch and it works for like different, maybe like striking poses if you want them to like to move around because it happens a lot. That's, that's what gives them that kind of movement. I don't like that uh, their legs make those clicks when they go up. Um, but yeah, she goes up about that far. And she can do a full splits. And Connor can do the same. About the same. Um, twist at the... I mean, yeah. Twist at the thigh. Double bend. And... Ankle hinge and it pivots. All right, so Amanda is definitely a, I would say it's a better figure than Connor. Um, however, I I do have a tendency to cut this figure some slack because it is series one. I think they are gonna get his face at some point. They're gonna get him. Um, they are uh, at some point. <sighs> After a couple of tries, you know, there's a lot of fights that we could get a, a Connor from. Uh, different heads, different haircuts. Um, maybe we could even get like a suited Connor McGregor. That would be cool. I would definitely buy that one. And but yeah, I think uh, they are good figures overall. They we we do need to realize, I think, for the people judging these a little bit harshly, that this company, this is you know their first try. Um, and making these and you know it's I'm sure it's hard you know with the I mean I guess with the budget on my Mattel has a big budget so they can do you know a lot more things um, but I think already Jazzwares is doing a lot by giving us you know cloth flags giving us a lot of um, belts a lot of interchangeable heads I guess the only thing would be like kind of the uh, a true FX um, technology, kind of like with how Mattel does their things, so that the head scans can be a little bit more accurate because head scans are a really big selling point for a lot of people. I know that it is for me. Um, but yeah, but I do cut them slack because I know I've wanted I've wanted like UFC figures for a very long time. And like elites of them, and when the Jax line got canceled, uh, you know, it was it was kind of sad. You you couldn't get them anymore. So I should have paused the video, but I just I decided to keep talking and record this part now, <laughs> where I change uh, the perspective because I'm trying to get the thumbnail. <laughs> um, but yeah, there they are. So that's pretty much the video, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helps somebody get these figures. Um, it was my own, my honest opinion and review of them. So yeah, go ahead and like, comment, rate, share, subscribe. And as always, this is Unknown Person, and I'm signing out.